Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So today we're going to be taking a look at this case that comes with some cool bonus items, all made in China with pride. What? So opening this box up, we do get our dual fan heat sink and we get our case. And we also get this power supply uh, switch that you can add on to your power supply. If you know how to use this properly, it's cool. I typically do not use these. But it's a nice little add-on for the price of this bundle. And this, this kit comes out to $13.99 Amazon Prime. So that's a pretty legit deal as seeing getting the, the dual fan heat sink runs almost that by itself. The best price on Amazon is typically around $13. Bucks. So you're paying a dollar more to get a case, uh, the power supply switch, and you actually do get a copper heat sink as well. But just like any of these acrylic cases, my God, such a pain in the butt getting this, this backing off. But it's got to be done. You don't want to put the case together with this crap still on here. But it is rather annoying peeling all this off. It, very difficult to get a, a scratch on there to pull off the, the backing. I know people have said there are other ways to do it, to soak it, you know, whatever, use alcohol, that kind of thing. Me... I ain't got time for that, but I also don't got time for this backing crap, but we had to peel it off anyway. So just to be upfront and honest, my God, this is annoying. I had to cut out quite a bit from this video while I assembled this case. It's a very simple case, but man, I'm a very simple person and this just annoyed me a little bit. But we went ahead, did that off camera, got everything together, everything peeled off. Not quite, but off of the two main pieces, yes. So with this case, you do have a little baggie of screws, and that can seem a little overwhelming at first because this case is just two pieces, but there's a crap ton of screws, what? But I'm just letting you know, it's really not that bad. And here's our copper heat sink that goes under on the chip underneath the pie. We have our thermal tape for the dual fan heat sink right here. Pretty cool fan. I really dig it. I already have one on another system I have set up. But, hey, for the deal this was, I figured why not get another one. So, like I said, we're not quite done yet with this bad boy. But there's a few screws that we're going to have to assemble first. And what we need to do is put these brass or yeah i'm pretty sure they're brass screws there's a smaller piece that goes underneath and then the tall piece goes on top so you'll go ahead and screw that in on all four of the outer corners the holes that are in the middle are for mounting your pie to the case this is just to connect the bottom and top piece acrylic together so that's the easy part Easy peasy getting the uh, the bottom and the top posts together. That way you can connect everything. But, you know, sometimes things can seem a little too easy. But after that, doing the, the, the mounting of the pie, I'm sure there's an easier way to do it. But I just got kind of frustrated with, with these screws. Um, but the next part of this is going to be these little spacers that are acrylic and dang it, they have backing on them too. So I had to go ahead and peel those off. Those weren't as bad as the, the case, but boom, had to do that off camera. And here we do have our copper heat sink. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that. Now, if you're going to set everything up exactly the way this case is specified to be used with everything that's included, you will want to put that copper heat sink on before you assemble the rest of this. Otherwise, you will not have access to the bottom of your pie. So let's go ahead, get that bad boy on there. Boom. Easy peasy. Get our micro SD card out. Now, this is the part that annoyed me. I'm sure I'm positive that there's an easier way. But you have to get these mounting screws in underneath of the case and then put the spacers on top of them 
and then put the pie on top of that while keeping the screws in place. Now, I must be an idiot, but I don't know. I struggled with this for for longer than I'd like to admit. Um, but eventually, I got it right. You know, maybe having a couple of extra hands will help. But like I'm saying, it's just annoying. If you can get them on underneath and have it laid flat, cool. Here, I'm just fast forwarding because like I said, this took me a lot longer than it should have. But now we're getting the acrylic spacers on top, getting the pie lined up, boom. And then you have the little nuts that can be kind of annoying to get on there. But as long as you kind of get them threaded onto the screws, you should be fine. And then just flip her you know, to one side, kind of hold the, the nut in place and then screw, screw it in from the bottom and everything will be secure. So that part's, you know, once you actually get orientated and get it going, it's it's not bad. But like I said, I spent too much time trying to put this together for such a simple case. Dang, man. So here we finally get everything put together as far as the bottom piece goes. The top piece, no problem. Now we gotta get our fan on there, our dual fan heat sink. A lot of people are going to say, hey, this is overkill. You don't need all that. The pie was never meant to be a cooled system. You know, we got people throwing this thing and, and, and you know, 20 gallons of mineral oil. We got, you know, people, you know, doing all sorts of crazy cooling on this. Hey, I don't think it's unnecessary, to be honest with you. For me, I live in a climate that is pretty hot all the time. And where I use my pie, it's always hot. I mean, right now, outside of my house, it's probably, you know, 60 degrees or so. It's been cooling down quite a bit. But in my garage, where I typically do my work and I use my pie, it's quite a bit hotter. So you can imagine a day that's like 80, 90 degrees outside. It's going to be like 100 in my garage. So what the heck? Having some cooling on my pie does help performance. If I don't use cooling, my pie does overheat, partly due to the climate of where I live. So we got the, the heat sink on there. We used the thermal tape, everything plugged in, everything ready to go. I'm not going to use the power switch that this came with. For me, eh, you know, it's, it's cool, but I, I typically don't use these. Um, maybe for some of you guys, it's beneficial if you don't want to attach a separate button to power off using a script. But if you do use a power, like an inline power switch like this, you are going to need to, to shut down within the system. So here's the only other thing that we need to do is the ultimate test. Can we easily insert and remove a micro SD card? And unfortunately, it's a pain in the butt, man. It's possible. It's possible, but it's a pain in the butt. You know, I said butt too many times, but just being honest, it's a pain. Now, the cool thing, though, with this fan, I did plug it in just to show. The fan is quiet. It does not make noise whatsoever. It does keep my pie fairly cool. Just as cool, if not cooler, than using a Flirk 2 case or a Biku case. I dig the style and the look of this. It's not the typical kind of case I would personally use, but hey, this is what it is. So if you want to peep this out, link will be in the description. Appreciate you guys watching. Smash that like button if you could. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll catch you all next time. Boom!